That is literally gold right there. Oh, BB ounce and a quarter, black cloud three inch, baby. You don't get much better than that one right there, dude. Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, it's me and the wifey and we are not in Kansas anymore. I actually just touched down in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we got us a nice little Nissan truck. We picked a little one so we can have a little getter. Yeah, there's some ducks. We're up here for one main reason. Federal Ammunition invited us up here. We're about to have a lot of fun. We're gonna make as many videos as we can at the Federal Ammunition Warehouse, at the factory. So, we're probably gonna do, this video is gonna be all about shotgun shells, I would assume, uh, unless we get into something else, but. My buddy Dan, that works here at Federal, he's actually the production manager over shot shells in general. Big shout out to Dan for hooking us up and getting us up here. We're actually going to a Twins game tonight and everything. They're really hooking us up and, and just showing us around. But we have a lot of exciting things that we're gonna do today. Uh, probably gonna shoot a fully auto something, so. I don't, want to, I don't want to spill the beans too much unless it's not on this video. We might have two videos. So, we are headed to the factory as we speak. I'm not just going to sit here and babble my brains out. So, we'll see you at the factory. This is like the industrial. <gasps> Bob, look. What? What? Go. Well, you're not going to see. Uh oh. Yeah, we got some gooselings, some little goslings trotting around out there. But we are here. It is like an industrial park, big facility. This federal premium factory is massive. I can only imagine. Uh, what all we're gonna get into here, but we're gonna get inside. I'm gonna put down the camera for a minute We're gonna get inside. We're gonna meet Dan. We're gonna get situated Get a plan built up and uh, get to work because we got a few really really fun things that we're gonna do here Well, we are here and like I said here is Dan the man that How invited us up So yeah here in the lobby welcome to federal glad you guys could come real quick as part of our display we have now, Federal's been in business for almost 100 years. We've had a lot of packaging iterations, and we have a local uh, docs, our local historian, unofficial historian, and this is a piece of his collection that he's donated to us to have on display here. So cool. A bunch of different iterations over the years. You can kind of see how the brand of Federal has grown, you know, from just being a shot shell company to getting the center fire rifle to get the 22 long rifle and handgun, and now we're, we're about as diverse as it gets and one of the biggest ammunition makers in the world. So. Right, right. Check this collection out. This is the collection that he's talking about. Everything from old to new. Check out the old Mallard box. How cool. So cool. So, so, so cool. It's going to be fun. One of the custom, the custom card these guys. Oh, these, these were... Um... Found these in a box. They did these for years oh, and years cool. ago for Pheasants Forever. So 15 million rounds, and oh, then wow. we looked at film dipping at one point. That's cool. The profit section. I don't know exactly how all that worked, but Charles Horn took over the company in 1922, started making shot shells, and did that until the 60s, and that's where the rimfire and centerfire rifle came along. Gotcha. And this is actually one of the front walls, and these doors here they used to do hand primers from one side, the outside of the building oh, to wow. the inside of the building and you'll see we still do something similar for safety reasons because safety primer safety. is the most explosive part of all right. ammunition so we try to do everything to have protection that's so to cool. minimize any you know if there was any sort of accident that could happen so that's cool yeah so this was the How this used to be the exterior of the building 410 primers only <laughs> Well, we're getting ready to go into where they make all them shotgun shells, and let me tell you what, it's going to be loud in there, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of warning. I'm sorry if you're going to hear a lot of <laughs> but there's a lot of machines going on. So we're, yeah, right. we're going to go to what we call old shot shell, which is the original, old, you're going to see some older equipment, runs a little bit slower in the new shot shell, we're around the high speed lines. Pretty big contrast between the two, but I think you're going to like it. We got the old slugs getting made here. Yeah, so this is uh, one of our old loaders. In the feeder bowl, feed the slugs. You can tell it's not moving real fast when we look at it, but sometimes you know, we do everything we can to get as much product out the door, so sometimes that might mean using a slower machine. But these older machines are very 
very fine tunable, kind of surprised. I always say our plant's like a, a mix of modern technology meets World War II at times. <laughs> right. But if you look at the loader, it's a lot like a single stage loader that a hand loader is going to use on their on their wrench. It's just a little more automated. So we got pieces coming in, you're feeding and rods. Every stage something else is happening, dropping powder, dropping shot, put the crimp, and it spits it out on the end where we print it and it rolls into the bin. There we go. So your slug is coming in. Oh, yeah. Coming down. So the wad coming from the ceiling. So oh, the powder, shell. That is silly. That's cool. Get a little primer sealant. Yep. You know that red sealant that you see on your primers? That's where it comes from. Drop in the bucket. Check that out. This is actually a vacuum that sucks all the shot out and dispenses it in the machine where it actually gets loaded. Those three and a half inch? Yeah, that's a, that's a safe seal. That, uh, good old three and a half inch right there. There were some shoulder herders. Those will hurt. Check it out though, that's all BB size. As you can tell, they're making three and a half inch steel uh, shot BB loads. So. literally so much going on it is hard to film everything guys if you're liking the video if you're enjoying it you know what you got to do you got to give your boy a big old thumbs up gold it's gold Ooh. <laughs> Look at them big boys, big old three and a half. Holy smokes. Alrighty guys, I know we kind of been all over the place, but this place is just ridiculous. It's huge. I never even imagined the production was this large. Um, before it gets any louder, what we're going to do is we're going to run you through literally exactly how a shotgun shell is made everything from the plastic casing that starts in small plastic pellets gets melted down into the casing if we're pointing at something and you don't hear a socket it's probably because you won't be able to hear it so you get the hint Right. You'll see how fast it's going at the end. 
line because as it gets stretched, it's getting longer. So the gotcha. machine has to keep up. So basically, the, the pellets got heated up and now it's stretching into the plastic tube, getting reheated again. Look at the little turbo on top. <laughs> But this is where that plastic casing gets stretched. Look how long that goes. Holy smokes. And then I'm guessing at the very end is where they get cut. Oh wow, it really sped up, yeah. Holy cow, wow. Finished product. So check that out. That is at the end of the line where it's custom to size. So we're going to our heading area and they're doing some work right now so they built some inventory up to feed the line but I'll show you kind of the process and how that starts. Basically, we strip. Oh, yeah. See the strip starts here. it and it makes it longer and longer and longer and eventually it gets to that head length that we're looking for, right. picks it off and then feeds it further down the line. Wow, that's cool. But see how they're not quite finished? Right. So when they put the primer in, they'll add that extractor ring. Oh, gotcha. Well. So. Gotcha, gotcha. How neat is that? This is, this is wild, let me tell you. Magnets them up oh. the top. Zoom in on that. That's a magnetic conveyor belt. How crazy. They have every little contraption possible. Wow. Let it go. The catwalk basically. It's going to transfer it over top of us to the next machine further down the line. And then your tube, the plastic tube, just comes in this hopper That's all been vacuumed up and over this way as well. Look at that bad boy just cranking out. Wow. Let us put this guy in there. Inserts it. Put that in the top. Have the primer. Oh, my God. Wow. Powder. That's where all the magic happens. manufacturing part of this whole factory. Look at them. Looking beautiful. A lot of you know I preach. I preach. Blue box is the best. Oh, ho, 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 ho. got the good ones here. Yeah, so this guy's running Black Cloud right now. Oh, the old Black Cloud machine right here, y'all. So anybody you know when you buy your federal ammo, your black cloud, this is where it gets made. I think 
they're, they're changing over to get set up to do it. So we're not gotcha. Right now. Gotcha. But this is where all the magic happens. Yeah. Right <laughs> so on these lines, yeah, we do the speed shock and we do the black cloud steel. Awesome. Our cold metal target loads, the hybrid, all that runs right here. Gotcha. Yeah, like you. Oh. Running some hybrid yep. in an ace. That's that hybrid. You all know what hybrid does. I'm telling you. Hybrid. But this is the area where all the premium shotgun shells are made. The Federal Blue Box, the Black Cloud, the Highbird, all made right here. A little slower. Uh, we do the smaller runs. We're a little more flexible here than one of the high speed. Right, things. right. Uh, yeah, the same operation though, shot rod. packaging taking place over here. Here's some of the different shots. Check it out. Copper. Nickel plated flight stopper, right? Oh yeah, that is flight stopper. So cool, dude. Setting up for prairie storm here. Gotcha. Oh, that is literally gold right there. Oh, BB ounce and a quarter, black cloud three inch, baby. You don't get much better than that one right there, dude. No. Two brown for 10 gauge. Old 10 gauge loads. I don't even own a 10 gauge. No. Everybody on the channel though, they've been like, dude, you need to get a 10 gauge, but holy smokes. Oh, 28 gauge. That's been requested. I don't even own a 28 gauge either. Yeah. Ooh, there's my babies right there. Got them 410 loads. Oh, check that out. Little nuggets, dude. <laughs> what are what size are these bad boys? Uh, they're an inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter. Wow. Loaded pretty light, you know, real comfortable to shoot. Um, Dude, a, lot I, of, a lot of people like to shoot them for more capacity, but it, it is kind of a caveat to that. You gotta put the adapter in most guns to make them cycle good. Gotcha. But, uh, but uh, over unders and stuff, fantastic. Oh, you I know. bet. Yeah, I bet. Something that doesn't have to cycle the shell probably works real well. Yeah. We got to try these though. <laughs> we got to try those. That is sweet. Little baby. Oh boy. Look at this bad boy. Holy smokes. Somebody guess how expensive <laughs> that. How expensive is that barrel right there? Somebody guess. Drop a comment down below. These are all 50 BMGs. Crazy. So, a little hint for you guys. Each one of these 50 BMGers here, five bucks a shot. How much is in there? Take a guess. Oh, well, it is the next day. You know, we gotta have that nectar. But we're back at the uh, Federal Ammo Factory, and after the tour yesterday, we dropped the camera, and Federal actually took us out to a Twins game, and they actually won. It was good, wasn't it, babe? Yeah, it was really good. It was fun. Big shout out to Federal for taking us to the Twins game. I've never been to a big baseball game like that. Never been a big baseball guy, but I do have to say it was a lot of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed the shotgun shell manufacturing process. I mean, the process that they have in here is just enormous. They have 1,400 employees here. It is amazing. It's a... Uh, way bigger than I ever guessed. But I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of what we're doing today, so stay tuned. Leave it to Bob looking at a camera screen. Working alleys, yeah, I need to watch where I'm walking and not the camera. So, a little sneak peek of what the next video to come is right here. Oh yeah, you know what we're gonna get into. And what is that bad boy right there? If y'all can guess, drop a comment down below. You ready to shoot it? No. <laughs> Why? 
I'll watch you go. <laughs> but you guys gotta stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna get it underway here. This video should drop in about two days. So stay tuned. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. The Federal Plant has been amazing. Big shout out to Dan for having us here. We're about to uh, put down the camera a little bit and have a bunch of fun. So we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Oh, oh.